Hello everyone, good afternoon, good morning, good night, good evening, depending on whenever you're watching from, my name is Deborah and without wasting much of your time, I just want to lend my voice on this issue of bestie, marrying your best friend, not marrying your best friend, not marrying your bestie. I thought we agreed that we're going to marry our best friend, in other words, our bestie. Now, so what's this issue of leaving your bestie, probably someone you met five years ago, six years ago, or even someone you met in primary school, and then you go to marry someone, I don't want to say him, a stranger okay because you met this lady two years ago or even four years ago and then you decided to start off things with her and then you ended up getting married to her why you have a bestie you've known all your life since primary school you guys are very close you wear almost everything together even as you are cutting your wife now you're actually doing a whole lot of things to your so-called bestie now i i begin to wonder what is actually the definition of a best friend what is actually the definition of a bestie who do you call bestie what are the qualities you see in a female as a man and then you say okay this person is my best friend i love this person i feel like i'm going to work with this person this person can actually vibe with me okay now what is actually the things you see in that person that is different from what you saw in your wife i used to think that for you to get married to someone it actually means that the person is i don't want to say the person is better than the other ladies you did not get married to of course i don't think i'm going to be wrong if i even say the person is better than other ladies you decided to get married to now i used to think that for you to get married to someone it means that you've actually looked at other persons including the so people you call your bestie it means you've actually looked at look at them and then you feel okay this is the person i can actually do life with and for you to choose a friend uh, there are actually things you look out for for you to choose friend you look at compatibility you look at kindness you look at do they actually align with your core value for someone like me my core value is honesty. You can never catch me telling lies. I tell this to anyone that cares to listen. Nothing on this earth will ever make me tell lies. No matter who you are, I tell you the truth plain and black. Because if I don't tell you the truth, I have a conscience that is going to prick me, that is going to kill me, that wouldn't even allow me to sleep with my eyes closed. At the end of the day, you look at friends you have there. You're expected to pick out of your friends, right? Now, I don't know. Sometimes... People don't get married to their friends, they get married to people they recently met, leaving their besties alone, leaving the people they've known all these years alone. And for you to actually leave people you've known all these years to settle to be someone you just met, it means that this person you just met is better than the people you've been with. I mean, if someone is better, you do. I just don't know how to explain this thing because this is kind of... I feel like this topic is even controversial. I don't even know how to explain. I don't know where to come from. But I feel like for you to get married to someone, it means they are better. Than others, or for you to even call someone your bestie, that's the main topic now. For you to even call someone your bestie, it means that you like this person, you can do anything with this person. Why do you have to leave someone you call your bestie to get married to someone else? And after getting married to that person, you forgot the fact that that person actually have emotions, actually have feelings. And the person actually left some other people to get married to you and you sideline her even though you don't say it with your words that you actually sideline this person they see you sitting in the sitting room and whom are you chatting with you're chatting with one girl from somewhere whom you call your bestie probably you've even introduced her to your wife as your bestie i mean it's the boldness for me like you come to your wife let's have your wife you come to me and then you tell me okay meet my wife and then you say meet my friend she's my bestie i've known her over all these years and then you go ahead in front of your wife to start reading out all the qualities that she has probably some that your wife doesn't even have and then you show it to her face that ah, this person is my bestie i love her so much she's this she's that and that is why she has been my friend all of this while and if your wife is someone that thinks like me if your wife is someone that thinks so wild like me she'll be like so why do you have to leave this person with so much huge qualities and come to marry me like like why does it even make sense so my essence of making this video is to let you realize the fact that it's not right it's not right for you to introduce another woman to your wife and call her bestie if that woman is your bestie then you should have settled down with her it's more wrong when you leave the relationship you have with your wife when you leave sideline establishing a perfect relationship with your wife all because you're trying to maintain a relationship with another female gender whom you call bestie any person that should be your bestie should be your wife any person that be so special to you should be your wife not any other woman out there you don't have any right to be sitting in the sitting room with your wife and your phone is in your hand you're chatting with another female i don't know how you want to see it 
But then, your wife should be your best friend. To get married to your best friend, of course. And as a female, you don't have any right to introduce, because this is vice versa. You don't have any business having an intimate relationship with another male gender, even if you met that person before your husband. If that person was so nice, you should have gotten married to him, or did he not propose to you? If he was so nice, you should have married him. I'm not saying after getting married, you should dump your male friends or your female friends. If at all you decide that, okay, you're going to keep male friends, all I'm saying that you should not introduce them to your husband as a bestie. Even if you want to introduce them to your friend, introduce them as, okay, this is one of my friends, this is my friend. Don't add the word bestie to it. That's my problem. See, your husband is your bestie. Your wife is your bestie. No other person should be your bestie and you should not be chatting with any other woman, especially at ungodly hours of the day when you're supposed to be bonding with your wife, your baby, your, your children, your family. The summary of this video is, if your bestie is good enough, get married to her. Do not come and marry somebody's, somebody else's daughter and be doing bestie with another person. Don't come and be doing best in another person's marriage. That's just a summary of this video.